What is up everybody? Thank you so much for tuning into another episode of Rocket Vlogs. We are finally going to fly my Polecat 5.5 inch Nike Smoke or Ecom's Ekin as I call it because of the semi reverse paint job. If it was a proper reverse paint job those fins wouldn't be that color but I just stole the idea from Neil McGilvery from Rockets Magazine when I was a teenager and decided in rebuilding it that I obviously had to do the paint job again. Although the first time I did it, I had the fin count and color reversed. So I had three green fins. We changed it on this one. We evolved and we progress, right? That's why this one is also way nicer looking than the one I built when I was 16. I'm going to take it to Tripoli Vegas this weekend, just outside of Las Vegas, Nevada, the Gene Dry Lake bed, a legendary rocket launch site, and fly on an equally legendary rocket motor, an Animal Motor Works K555 Skidmark. I do have a bunch of things I need to do to get it ready for that flight though. I have to put an Aeropack retainer on it. I have to make this electronics bay fit in there. The lower bulk plate is just a little bit too big and hangs out past the coupler. So we gotta get a nice respectable fit here in the fin can. Then we're gonna need to glue the bulk plate into the nose cone and I'm going to kind of weigh everything out and look at my sim file and see if I'm going to need to add any nose weight because obviously we're going to want to do that before we block off the end of the nose cone with this bulk plate. So the first thing we're going to do as we find ourselves doing a lot on this channel is sanding, but we're going to use the belt sander so it's going to go pretty quick. First though, I want to make an announcement. We are planning on flying both of our huge rockets this year at Airfest in Argonia, Kansas in September slash August. And the Punisher's flight is intended to be on an N2000 and three M1297s and three L850s. And if you guys know high power rockets, you know that that is a lot of money in motors. So we've come up with a fun line of merchandise we're going to sell and all of the money from this merch is going to go straight into the Punisher fund. Uh, the ever popular Nigel the Rocket Cat merch has landed. If you're not familiar, you don't watch the podcast or listen to the podcast. Taylor has a cat, an orange cat named Nigel, and uh, we call him Nigel the Rocket Cat. And his girlfriend, Sam, Taylor's girlfriend, not Nigel's, did some really awesome art for us for the merch. It's on flip flops, it's on t-shirts, it's on hoodies, it's on beer glasses, it's on pretty much anything you could imagine. And we also have Hashlinging Slasher specific merch. It says the Hashlinging Slasher on the back with the cartoon graphic on the front. And of course we have the all out original anti-gravity group t-shirts and hoodies. There's bomber jackets, there's a lot of really cool stuff. So check it out at rocketvlogs.com. All of the merch sales from now until the day we fly the rocket are going into the Punisher fund. That's going to help offset the cost of the motors, traveling to the launch site, taking that huge rocket, Gas is not cheap, as you guys are aware. In addition, we're offering people who also want to help with that flight uh, an opportunity to do sort of like a race car sponsorship thing. For $25, uh, you can have your name or your Instagram handle or YouTube channel or whatever you want put on the side of the rocket in decal form, and we'll cut those out and put them on the side of the rocket. That's $25, or if you want, you're feeling bold, and you want to take up an entire fin, we'll give you the whole side of one of those giant barn door size fins on that rocket for $100 to advertise your business, your YouTube channel, or Instagram, or whatever you want. To do that, there is a link in the description for a tipping page. You put in the amount you want, what you want on the rocket, and we will make it so. And if you care to be real adventurous and donate $350 or more covering one of the outboard motors, there's going to be a special t-shirt that only the outboard crew, the people that donate enough money to cover an entire outdoor outboard motor are going to get and I'll give you a hint. There's six outboard motors. There's only four of those shirts left. So if you want to be a big baller and really help support the project, that is an option. Of course, if you can't afford to help fund the project, you don't want to, that is absolutely fine. We're just happy that you're here. We're happy that you're excited to see this 12 inch rocket fly. You just being here, pressing the like button, leaving a comment, feeding that YouTube algorithm is a great way to assist in uh, making it so. So with all that shameless advertising and promotion out of the way, we are going to get down to business and start finishing my Nike smoke so that we can fly it this weekend. This is all going to be cumulatively in one video. Uh, so this video could be um, something went wrong and I didn't get to fly it, or what I'm hoping it's gonna be is we got the rocket done, everything's happy, trip to Vegas goes perfect, and this rocket flies perfect, and we get it back, and I get to keep my beloved Polecat Nike Smoke in good shape to see an M-Motor flight someday. Let's do it. 
The first thing I need to do to get the rocket to fit together nicely is sand down the lower bulk plate for the electronics bay assembly. My dearly departed Walmart belt sander went on to die shortly after this was filmed, so rest in peace, friend, and thanks for seven years of dutiful service. Probably one of the best ways I've ever spent $20 ever. After I got a nice fit on the lower section of the rocket, the next step was to install the Aeropack motor retainer. When going into the wooden rear centering ring, I use the provided barrel nuts to ensure we've got a good solid mount. I use a motor case to line it up, drill one hole, remove the whole assembly, install the barrel nut, then drill the next hole with both the case and the first screw in place. Then I remove the whole assembly again and install the second one just to make sure we've got it properly aligned. From there, I simply drill out the rest of the holes, remove the assembly, and install all of the barrel nuts. I know this seems tedious, but I have misaligned an Aeropack retainer before, and it is not fun. Next I installed my motor adapter and put my K555 in it to check out where the center of gravity is. This rocket is right on the cusp of being too big to really do the center of gravity balance thing on your arm, but it worked out alright. After checking the physical location and verifying it against the calculated center of pressure, it looks like we're good to fly, so no nose weight on this flight. In that light, I moved on to sanding the inside of the nose cone to install the bulk plate up there, and yes, I'm weighing out 5 minute epoxy. It's my new thing. I glued the bulk plate in with a ton of 5 minute epoxy, but made sure to leave that center hole open just in case I need to funnel some BBs in there for nose weight on future flights with heavier motors. After that was all said and done, I added some quick links to the shock cords, installed them, carefully folded up the parachutes, added some soft brakes to the shock cords with electrical tape, and packed it all up. And yes, before anybody asks, that blue masking tape is just there to hold it together while I'm packing it around and taking it apart. It does come off before I fly it. I don't rely on the wind ripping that tape open. Sorry I didn't film setting up the ejection charges or electronics, but it's the same basic stuff I do with all of my projects, just twist and tie and a bunch of tape. If you want to see how I do that, I've made a couple videos on it. You can click on the top right eye in the corner there and check it out if you're curious. Now all we have to do is get up early, cruise out to fabulous Las Vegas, and enjoy a nice sunny spring day in the Nevada desert. Yes sir, the old Fiesta work truck rocket toter is staying back there. It is quite a bit wetter than I anticipated here. I have to say my hopes of being able to get out there tomorrow are dwindling pretty pretty significantly. That's that's pretty deep. We're gonna need more sun than this for a lot longer than the time we've got, I believe, to make this possible. We got about seven hours until sunset with no more rain predicted. Um, so we're gonna keep our fingers crossed, but we're certainly not going to keep our hopes high. Might have to just uh, reschedule the Nike Smoke flight and have to miss any of the Spring Fest flights. But uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Here is, in its own unique way, a little bit of rocketry history. Uh, Terribles Hotel and Casino, formerly known as the Gold Strike Hotel and Casino, which explains the guys panning for gold out front. Um, really big casino. It used to have this grandiose front entrance that looked like a palace, kind of, in some spots. It was like they couldn't decide on the theming, and they went with everything since though it's been demolished uh this closed around covid but this was like the go-to tripoli vegas hotel like when they hosted ldrs 26 and all spring fest used to be a really really big launch and this was the go-to place to stay um i did stay here once but not for a rocket launch it was for sema and uh i can say that the name at least the name when i stayed at it is almost an understatement so i can't say that we're gonna miss the old gold strike slash terribles hotel um i do wonder though if they're doing a dynamite demolition because if i can find out when that's happening i'd really like to come see it because that'd be cool 
but at any rate there was rumors of the family opening like a new non-gaming hotel which seems crazy because they have you know gaming permits on this property seemingly but you know what i'm not a businessman but if they build a nicer hotel there you go rocky people thinking about coming to tripoli vegas maybe there will be something uh tolerable not terrible that was a bad joke anyway let's go to las vegas all right there's the lake but believe it or not this is las vegas boulevard yes the very same one with all the hotels this is it Alrighty then, folks. That brings our uh, Nike smoke adventure to an anticlimactic end. Um, I'm just gonna leave everything loaded and ready to fly. Uh, it's, I'm probably gonna try and see if I can get into a far date and uh, get this thing flown. So, sorry to disappoint everyone that was excited to see this rocket fly. Believe me, I was also excited to see this rocket fly, but this is just how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you get bad weather landing on a big regional launch like that and you know you can't just shift the dates for anybody that maybe was planning for coming out of state like myself. At any rate I had a good time in Las Vegas. I used uh, credit card rewards points to book the hotel so at least I didn't have to pay for it but uh, yeah so it was nice. I'm glad uh, I didn't get stuck out on the lake bed. Hope everybody that's out there still, well, hopefully they're not out there anymore, but if they are, hopefully y'all are doing okay. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in to another Rocket Vlogs video. Again, sorry we didn't actually get to fly the Nike smoke, but we will soon, I promise. say words <laughs> okay well we're in Kansas City so there's only one thing you can do it's still your friends WR eggs Pause Tart and I didn't bring any rockets to fly, so we're at Target trying to pick what we want to launch in Arconia this weekend. We've got a couple options here. Yeah, I kind of, I'm see, I'm liking the space shuttle one with the wingspan is wrong. Yeah. And I don't even know what that's supposed to be. The Saturn V oh. is a funky nose. That's, I don't know if that's supposed to be, that's more like a Gemini or yeah. anything. This though, this is a classic. we got a couple more over there. Oh Those yeah. Oh, light up. Oh. Wow. Do you think they have actual SS rockets here? Probably not. Probably. It's Nigel the Rocket Cat. What's up, dude? Yeah. He knows what the folks want to see. Tell us something, Nigel. Oh, to the petting carpet? Oh, nope, he's gonna scratch some stuff. Nope. Alright. Well, my, Nigel, should they buy the merch? Say nothing if they should buy the merch with you on it. I think that settles it. Yeah, that's a yes. Go buy the merch. Rocketvlogs.com, Nigel the Rocket Cat merch out now. Slides and all, huh, Nigel? You wanna play with stuff? All right, I'll have Taylor explain what he's flying this weekend when he gets back home, but uh, yeah, Postar and I are actually not flying anything. Here's some sneak previews of Taylor's Nike Hercules. Um, I don't know how he feels about me showing that, but I'm going to. Uh, anyway, here's the big Punisher. If you want to help support the flight, $25 gets your Instagram handle, your YouTube channel, your name, whatever you want, embedded in vinyl on the 12 inch Punisher for its next flight, which is this coming air fest and then this big boy which still doesn't have a nose cone and still has taylor's gopro in there that didn't record the onboard footage i told you i told you while i tried they're both gonna have good onboard footage this year i promise um this is flying on an animal motorworks 
N2800 skid mark. It's a demo motor, the precursor to the N2801. It's from like 2005. I picked it up um, a couple months ago, which is pretty cool. So it's gonna be, even though this is a big rock, it still sims to like 10,000 feet on that single motor. So it'll be pretty hardcore. Obviously, it needs a new nose cone. I don't know where Taylor has it here somewhere, I think, unless he threw it away. But, uh, yeah, so that's what we got going on this air fest. Like I said, we're just here to film and take pictures. Check out Shane's website, rocketry.pics. He's working on getting the commerce part to work. It's just not cooperating right now. But, uh, yeah, big rockets later this year. You didn't finish painting the Sumi? No. Rip. <laughs> What are you flying? Tell the people. A little sumo on a I-435. My new Mad Cow Nike smoke on a H. And uh, what's that? Oh, don't look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Range opened at nine. Timely as usual. <laughs> Had to get the Barams burrito. Barams. Barams. <laughs> It's because they took forever to make the burritos. And we had to be the old boomers that went up there and screamed at them, <laughs> threatening to get them fired. It's actually looking quite nice so far. Yeah! It'd be pretty cool if I had a rocket. Woo. How about you? Yeah, it'd be nice. How about you? I have a rocket. You don't have any M motors. How many N motors are you flying this weekend? Yeah. Uh, like 10. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. You must be rich. Yeah, super. I've seen your house and those huge rockets you have. Yeah. So you're probably loaded. <laughs> super loaded. Everyone knows he's just storing those rockets for graded. The RAV4? Oh yeah, I mean that's true. Those are graded rockets. Yeah, the Punisher. And my new RAV4. Brand new. Brand new. Like no miles on this bad boy. Taylor bought it for sure. If you haven't been to Argo, oh hey look, there's a house for sale. Oh. We talk about buying a house here all the time because they are hilariously cheap. Oh, oh. man. There it is. Oh. Without fail, dude. <laughs> all right, we're gonna be 30 minutes late. <laughs> Shout out Sarah Jane's. Oh, they're open. It's not hot enough to do the dash cooking trick. Well, this could take a minute. But anyway, here's our going. The car wash is huge and thriving. Yep. <laughs> the, the open day the car wash. The one day. <laughs> At one time, uh, Tim washed his Camaro there. Oh, really? Yeah. This is cool. Yeah, this is uh, a Argonia Classic. Sometimes they're like 80 cars, and sometimes they're like 500. Hey, this walk. one's moving though. That's a good yeah. attribute for a trip. Last night Why we had one in Wichita it? that just stopped. This one's gonna stop now. Yeah, it's very possible actually. We'll just get out and walk. Where? Yeah, wh you can walk around the train. If it stops. Oh. Yeah, you're right. What if we just ride the train to Argonia? Well, I guess we're in Argonia. Yeah, to the launch here. site. Uh, but anyway, some of the houses here are like $20,000. Yeah. And we're like, we can just pay like less than a car payment every month and then just only pay for the power when we come out here and then we could get we could get like uh some atvs yeah <laughs> yeah it'd be sick just pull our rockets on a little trailer <laughs> yeah yeah it'd be awesome i know but oh you oh it's like oh. a collar I, well i i just got one of these last year for 15 years i just kind of use my fingernail and then measure yeah it. yeah i ball it <laughs> yeah we know Reliable. This is the old way. Old people way. people don't realize. Drill bit, delay, uh, oh, the carpenters? The machinist thing. thing. The ruler has all the convert decimal conversions on the back. Oh. Don't look look at you go. The extra toasty Cheez Its. Oh. What are you putting on this, in this again? H165. The classic. I thought you hated red lines. I like small ones. NK-1275? H-165. 
Why? Because thirteen fifteen better. Yeah, but it's a long red line motor. Yeah. That's like your forte. It's not six grand though. I guess. All right, Tessie, what are we doing? <laughs> My adapter's stuck, and I didn't bring the big stick like every launch. So we're gonna try to use Braden's uh, tripod. It all came full circle because that's. Out at me. I'm gonna shoot it. At you. Hey, whoa! Oh, look at that. <laughs> It came full circle because that's the tripod I bought that you advised that I buy. <laughs> so it's all it's all working. The Amazon one? Circle. Yeah, the four tier one. All right, I'm going to put it back in. <laughs> yeah, wait. <laughs> do it again. I wasn't looking. Nice shirt. It's you have it ready, right? Isn't it ready? The screaming eagle? Yeah. It's close. I just have to pack the suit. Well, you did the electronics, though. Yeah, right? yeah, all the electronics are ready to go. So. Look at that shirt, dude. That's yeah. sick. Oh. Yeah, it's nice. Thank <laughs> you. All right, Matt. Yeah, I was... This is this is for you, courtesy of the wild man. Yeah, thank you, uh, Tim. I mean, he's standing over there. You can just go say. <laughs> okay, yeah, that worked. Our man has learned his lesson. Yeah, he did. Yeah. I mean, yeah. What's the case that I owe? A thirty-five. 60. <laughs> three, eight, three, eight, three. Yeah, give him one of those. 30, one okay, 35, okay, 35, 60. Is this it? <laughs> yeah, wait, is that mine? <laughs> yeah, this is mine. Yeah. <laughs> you told me you could keep it. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. What are we working on, Matt? We're working on a, um, I don't know, I-600. We're, we're building it with uh, not very much time to spare. That is a full eye. Full? Yes, ladies and gentlemen. That you don't remember asking that the first time you bought one? Oh, you were like, "Is this a full eye?" Yeah, and Tim was like, "That is a full eye." Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I do remember. That. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You heard that one? Yeah. Uh, All right, a radio tracker on board with altimeter deployed for the main at 500 feet. So here we go on pad 33 in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Taylor or something. Look at this, Taylor. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> what, what'd what you get? Beans? They're the worst. <laughs> Look, we're in rural Kansas, okay? The Mexican restaurants can only hit so good so many times in a row. <laughs> you're clearly not using this. You want some of these? No, 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 we're good. <laughs> Okay, we we said some slander on the zero bar on the podcast, well, the post-podcast live stream, and we ranked all the candy bars, and we put this at F, and uh, our friend Corey Brennan took issue with that. So Matt just ventured through the vestibule and <laughs> got, got the zero bars for us, so we're going to give him a shot. It smells like those pretzels. Okay, yeah, immediately I'm oh, shocked that it's white. <laughs> yeah, it's like a fun waft it, yeah. you know. This chair sucks. <laughs> Does it? Really bad. Alright. Right. How would you describe it? <laughs> Aerate it. Yeah, warm, warm it up. <laughs> For over all 10,000 taste buds. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of um, almonds. Is there caramel in here? Mmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, there is. 
You know what it tastes like? An almond nougat covered with white fudge. It kind of tastes like an Abba Zabba. Oh, oh, I didn't realize we were biting. Mm. Matt's had an Abba Zabba before. I think so. Are there peanuts in here? What? Yeah. It's and smooth. almond. It's pretty smooth. Yeah. Is it still F? Was it F because you guys never had one? I hadn't had one for a long time. I feel like I really just let the name go to my head. This is kind of hitting. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of almonds. It's kind of rich. I've been on a little white like chocolate thing recently, so it's really doing it for me. But yeah. Caramel peanut and almond nougat covered with white fudge. Wait, did you guys already say that? Mm -hmm. I did. Oh, no. <laughs> but you can, <laughs> you can say it again. People will like it more when you say it. Yeah. yeah. It would be funnier for some reason. I don't know if I like the peanut <laughs> and almond in it. Yeah, Pasta's bitter. bitter. He's got uh, Macho Magic envy. <laughs> He's like, yeah, if Matt says it's hilarious, if I say something funny, it's not even good. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I think it would be better if it were completely smooth. Yeah. We don't like the veins? <laughs> no, veins I mean, are the second best part. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, if there was nut free. I'm not really liking the nut in my mouth. Oh, kids, you're going on the channel now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Um, I'm digging it. Yeah, I mean... The almonds, make it creamy, you gotta win it. Well, sorry, Corey, we, it's not F tier. I'm gonna say, like, C. Yeah, middle of the road. Yeah. I'll give it, like, C plus, B minus. Mm. Yeah. Match? Yeah, C. <laughs> I think C's good. Alright. Well. Wait, wait. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah. We, we need to weigh in on Matt's... Opinion? Opinion. Mm. He wasn't there for the uh, ranking. On all of the candy bars? Oh my god. <laughs> well, no. Like, what, what? Do you guys have a list or you were. Or just, what's your fate? What do you put in S tier? Yeah. Um. Hmm. You know how, like, those tier lists work? Yeah. Right. Um. I feel like Butterfinger's S. I love Butterfinger. Okay. Alright. We had that up there. Um. Butterfinger. What? Oh, this Reese's yeah, one? what? What was the speed you got here today? Wait, what? What? What was the speed you got here today with? One, speed? One Reese's per hour. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, yeah, Reese's, I think, are this. I love Reese's. Um. There's, like, Kit Kat, Almond Joy, yeah. Hershey's, Cookies and Cream Hershey's. I'm going to put Hershey's in S. I'm, like, a pure chocolate person. I love chocolate. Snickers. I thought you didn't like yeah. Hershey's. No, well, I don't really. I like I like dark chocolate because it's healthy for you. <laughs> is it really? You know? I don't think it is. <laughs> it, yeah, I'm sure it is. You know? Matt, Matt's the type of guy that gets the dark chocolate twig because it's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it says so. It says so. I'm the, no. All right, boys. Hello. Hey, you have it. Yeah, we're bringing the little Seattle best. Flipping some switches. <laughs> nope, no one's doing that. <laughs> Just have a nice sip. Definitely nobody flipping switches and hoping the fireplace would turn on and nothing happened. <laughs> that would be crazy. Yeah, uh, sitting in the vestibule. It's, uh, yep, yeah, we're in the vestibule. It's not looking optimistic for any rocket flying today. So I'm thinking we might just, oh. Whoa, <laughs> it's inside even. So I'm thinking we might just try and convince Taylor that we should go to Top Golf. What do you think the odds are? Ten to five. You're gonna be able to pull the electronics bay out from this side to put the charges on, oh and then you'll God. screw the electronics bay down. When's that gonna happen? I have a video explaining. I haven't edited it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I'm gonna build it? I don't know. <laughs> It's a Hercules. Can't you tell? The fins, dude. Dude, I might have to recut the fins. I'm pretty pissed about it. Why? Because I was going to do scale fins, and now I might just... You have the 3D printer now, though. You can make them really good. They're so long, though. Yeah, make them in a bunch of pieces. Build yourself Legos. You love Legos. Come on. Yeah. I'm going to do scale fins on the booster, because that's easy. Oh, okay. Let me just... It's pretty cool to do a half, I guess. That's fine. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm still trying to decide if I want to use just a six inch nose cone or if I want to try to print some sort of more scale looking nose cone. 
I mean, I'll take that no scope if you want it no, anymore. If I don't use them, I'm using them on a little John. Dude, you gotta go all the way scale and make things look exactly like they do in real life. Exhibit A. <laughs> <laughs> this is a perfectly scale, just piece of perfect perfection. I mean, you, I guess you guys can go subscribe to the Rocky channel, but... Amazon or, or G10. I don't know how much good it's going to do if you want to see more on this. But yeah, I guess you can. I don't know. <laughs> That's why no one's coming to, to subscribe. No, I've tried. <laughs> I've tried. That's all on you guys. I say in almost every video now, everybody's like, yeah, maybe I'll check it out. But like, if they're not posting videos... Gonna run a speed test on fast.com so we can see why Taylor's podcast episode stuff takes five years to upload. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> that's the download speed, too. Um, also, I wanted people to see your case collection because people see the sumo in the background, they don't see what's going on down here. Oh, is this the 1050? No, that's the 1400. Oh, yeah, 1400. That's not all of them either. That's just what we keep on the floor. Right, right yeah. This is the floor collection. <laughs> the 98s. The ones you can, like, stand on and roll around yeah. sometimes. No. The firework closet. Yep. This is where they're supposed to be in that box. Yep, yep, yep. The old GoPro. Got an M2000. <laughs> M685. M1315. I feel like people are going to ask about the tubes. Yeah, anyone need a seven and a half inch too? Yeah, you have five. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember we each took four good ones, and then there's one cracked one. For the real ones. Yeah, you know what it is. You know what it is. What's the cracked one? How bad is it? It's not that bad. It's just like the edge is a little messed up. Is there a way I can like give you a portion and buy that one out so I can use it for my honest John repair? Yeah, I because I have an extra one. Yeah, because I need, I'm need i not going to need the full length, but I don't want to cut one of the good ones, really. I really only need two. The, yeah, I want to save the two full ones that I have. So that's why I want another one, so I can... Is that my 5-inch tube? Uh, sure. There's yeah. another one in the garage. Oh, yeah. I really wasn't interested in that until I found out that the normal 5-inch stuff fit. Nice. It's, well, he hasn't paid for it yet, but that's technically yours now. This is what I was going to fly this weekend. But I didn't. Do you have a load for the 1400? Uh, the J365. Oh, yeah. And uh, the one I'm getting from you. The K560. Yeah, it's red, red rhinoceros. Yeah, that'll be cool. But yeah, there you go. There's the case collection. Oh, wait. Let me click more info. Let's see how slow your upload speed is. Dude, how could that be? <laughs> <laughs> that's not even I mean it's not good but it's yeah. not that bad I don't know oh we are playing a video though yeah it could be eating into it a little it bit it usually says like 5 or 6 I feel like well 16 is like pretty reasonable for the upload speed I would think it wouldn't take as long as it does got a new one today. oh yeah and Taylor got some new hardware 1750 and 3500 nice. imaginary research motors I wanted to trade you for the 3500 until I saw the guy carved his name in it <laughs> Do we want to talk about this seven and a half inch Nike smoke nose cone that's just sitting here? Well, clearly, it's gonna be a Nike smoke. Yeah, well, it really is. It kind of has to be at this point. This, this would have been the elusive Just Rockets, or no, sorry, BSD Nike smoke. Yeah. Same thing. Basically. Yeah. Um. Are you gonna do like proper shaped fins? Yep. That's gonna be sick. Shape fins. Takes one and a half tubes. I think I'm just gonna do a 98 mount though. Come on. What? Yeah, I guess when you I only already fly... Have, I already have the clutch. Yeah, and you only fly one motor in that anyway, oh, so... <laughs> oh. All right, well. There you go. There's the case collection and the blown-up Punisher. It's going to be fixed. I think I need another one of those. He commands affection. He knows we're profiting off of him, so... Yeah, okay, we're done now.